Ancient forts, stunning mosques and new architectural marvels are among the unique landmarks of Oman, reflecting its rich past and present. In this edition of Oman Life, we explore the country's extraordinary cultural heritage. Our starting point, this famous UNESCO site, the Bahla Fort. It's an impressive view, the Bahla Oasis. Its fort bears witness to a rich history and is an outstanding example of a fortified oasis settlement of the medieval Islamic period. It rose to prosperity from the 12th century on. Bahla Fort actually, it is one of the oldest fort we have here in Oman. It was the capital of Oman long back in history during the Al Nabhani dynasty. They ruled Oman for around 500 years. During that time, people used to live within these fortified walls. Most of their houses were interconnected and richly decorated inside. This niche is here, we call it Rosanna. Rosanna, people, they used to put their perfumes or the lights, okay, it's a candles actually, or lentil, they put them there for lighting. Leaving the oasis behind, we move to the capital, Muscat, which is set between the sea and rugged mountains. With its oriental, arabesque-style architecture, the city is a unique fusion of tradition and modernity. For painter Halima Abolushi, who's part of a new generation of contemporary artists, it's an inspirational place. If I describe Muscat in colors, I think I choose white uh, because uh, everything is in white houses in white and some grounds grounds you can see grounds and windows mountains doors also i'll choose blue because of the sea the colors of the city also seem to be reflected in the staggering marble of the Sultan Qaboos Grand Mosque, one of the city's most outstanding landmarks. With space for 20,000 worshippers, it's one of the largest in the world and an architectural gem. The mosque contains a mixture of architecture, the Western, Eastern and Central Asian uh, architecture. Amongst some of the most stunning treasures inside is this opulent crystal chandelier. It's 14 meters tall and has more than 1,100 light bulbs. It illuminates the main prayer hall, a place of spirituality and of great importance to the people here. This is something we feel proud of, that this mosque is reflecting the Omani identity. Another example of this identity is the city's famous souk, with its labyrinth of alleyways. It's one of the oldest markets in Oman and well known for its handicrafts. It's a bustling atmosphere with a fragrance of frankincense in the air. The Mitra souk is a place where people get to know each other, where old and young people meet, drink coffee and talk. The vision for the city's cultural future is reflected in the Royal Opera House Muscat. Legends such as Jonas Kaufmann, Placido Domingo and René Fleming have performed here. Open since 2011, this marvel of contemporary Islamic architecture showcases a versatile program from opera, ballet and jazz to Arab music. This Royal Opera House contributes to create a, like a bridge between different cultures and uh, to give opportunity to the young generation to, uh, to look uh, back at their traditions, but also to look forward in the future. Our journey is now at an end. It's taken us through the country's unique natural wonders, its fascinating cultural heritage and rich marine life. If you'd like to see any of our reports again, 
do check out our website. Thanks for watching.